Good night everyone. All right, let me welcome you to this another Saudi Crest show. Well, this is the Saudi Crest YouTube channel. And of course, we'll bring you the episode two of what seems to be a very interesting discussion. Where last week we had a very, very interesting night one that we discussed we had a number of predictions for the first game or the first games of the 2002 Dakasta Cup quarter final where Edwin Allen went up against the mighty Ding Till in Jaxal and uh, <laughs> you remember in that show I said that Edwin Allen is really the giant killer of this competition eh? <laughs> And so they have actually killed one giant already. One to go very soon in a matter of hours. 
And of course, Clarendon College also went up against Central High, where they have won their first game. Now, it was expected by most of us, most of us, yes, including myself, that Clarendon College would have won this game. And so they did. We are actually enjoying this year's competition. I am sure that the Edwin faithful are enjoying this year's competition. Not too sure if their opponents are enjoying this year's competition so far. I would not say opponents, you know. <laughs> Let me tell you something, you know, people. The, 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 the first game Edwin up against um, Dinkton. I was I was there, as you know, so the Chris covered that game. But interestingly, interestingly, that game was well supported. Well supported, I believe, by I would say most, most Dinkton supporters. You know, I live in Linstead. Dinkton is from Linstead. So I know what the support always be for Dinkton. I know that Dinkton could have been very confident. that they would have won this game. And I'm not sure just winning this game, you know, based on their supporters, the supporters would have seen Edwin Allen played against McGrath. And that game, the McGrath game, the second leg of the second round, that was the game at Jackson. I remember I was there. I wanted to cover that game, but somehow, you know, I was unable to do so. But I listened to a few spectators on that day. And they said, oh, so the Nalin team, I can't test the team. Man. People, there's this one champion I hope him join the show tonight, you know, from being to you. Man say, take it like what me tell you. Think till I go mash up the society. Society are not good. And I had a discussion with him and I said, listen. This adrenaline team will beat any team who try to play football like Ding Till. Yes. And so say, so done. I really believe that they got a shocker. It was a shocking result. The result from the Glenmore game. Yes, they got shocked. And I am saying this without any apology that thing till unfortunately <laughs> you have to wheel and come again people don't feel the way thing till is a good team you know? it's a good team and i believe that the performance against edwin allen was not the best a matter of fact it is the worst i've seen them play all season and I've watched a few games with them. It is the worst I've seen them play. But, <laughs> no excuse. Edwin Allen destroyed them. Edwin Allen destroyed them. And so, 
too much for me, I guess. Many fans out there watching this show don't want to hear me talk too much about the Edunali thing. But, you know, it's just an introduction to the show. Because if you look at it, at the bottom of your screen, we are looking at the review and preview of the Edunali the Costa Cup quarter-final matches. So we review the first one, which was played um, Wednesday. And so we'll give a preview of the second one, which will be tomorrow. And remember, people, you can type in the chat. Please type your comments in the chat. No, I am sure that tomorrow's game will be a cracker. Yes, it will be a cracker. And so I want to really take this time out to acknowledge a number of our sponsors. Because, you know, this is the Saudi Crest Show. This is episode two of the review and preview of Edwin quarterfinal matches. So the game is brought to you, or this show is brought to you, ladies and gentlemen, by PIBA. PIBA is the Pass Adrenaline Ballers Association. They are putting in their all for the support of Adrenaline Football Team. And without any doubt, you know, without any doubt, you know, this is how, this is the result of cooperation. This is the result of what people need. This is a result that good management, this is a result that good supporting cast brings. We have other associate sponsors. We have Toad and Nose Heating System coming out of New York. We also have Deja Vu Retro Party. We have Dallas Fine Cut Barbering. Yes, coming out of California. Mr. Chairman, big up yourself. Taste of the Island Restaurant. Coming from St. Petersburg. In Florida. Listen, I don't understand if the, the foreign thing, you know. Now bear with me here. Soon start traveling the world through YouTube. <laughs> we also have Solid Rock. Black Factory. Coming out of me, pen. The man they call was him. Bro, bro. Another PBA standout icon. So, all of these sponsors, associate sponsors rather, they are PBA members. And we are urging other members not just to be a sponsor here, but come on board. Join PBA. Join the Pastor the Nalin Ballers Association. Because the more the merrier. And we want to share the victory. We also have a new sponsor on board, a company by the name of, and it, it is well managed by a man called Jerome. And Jerome is the son of our own PIBA member, Errol Stewart. So he's Jerome, Jerome Stewart. Satisfaction entertainment and electronics and this is based in Ochi Royals. That company gives you all you want for entertainment. Music, lights, staging, I mean tents, just about anything. And I must say they have sponsored us last game, the game against Dintil. Why could I why could we lose? We couldn't lose. A very good tent and also a Wi-Fi expander. So ladies and gentlemen, 
good night again and let me just take time out just before we go let me just acknowledge some persons in the chat here Gregory Messam, what it means, Sir Sadi. All right, my boss, I hear you. Big up yourself, Gregory. Big up yourself. Yes. AKA. <laughs> I miss you, know, easy, you know, man. That's cool, man. They say, all right, sir. All right. Him say, AKA, Mr. Principal. All right. Ronald White, man they call Reagan. Big up yourself, Reagan. Edwin Allen, supporter for life. Otis Reed, Edwin Forever. What do you mean? What do you mean? Dallas Harris, Kevin, please don't make no predictions. Why not? Come on, Dallas, man. Where you say, may I lose? Then guess what? Regardless. All right? Reagan, what you say? <laughs> Hats off, Sir Sadi. Boy, I am getting back the fever you guys gave us in the past. Fever, what can I say? I mean, man, brothers, you know, good, bad. <laughs> I mean... Chat about you hear that Piva? What is read? If Brian and Peck turn up, my God, tomorrow the rest of the team will play off them college in serious problem. I truly at that. No doubt about that, you know, boss. What is serious thing? Yeah, man. Yes. Stacy, I mean, I mean. Up, up, Mr. Wittick. Trevor Wittick, bless up. All right. So these are some chats. And persons participating in the chat ladies and gentlemen now tonight's show will have a live show we have some special guests coming on later on and these guests are persons that recording in progress we really enjoyed our time with Persons who we have seen around in different spheres. Persons who know football. Yes. And the live show we are expected to start in and around about, can I say, 9 o'clock. Yes. So we have maybe about 10, 11 minutes to go to the live show. Yes. Um, the, the, the thing about tonight's show, we can't afford to miss it. And let me just give you the persons who will be, I mean, toasting us with their views earlier. There are a number of intellects i know that person will be looking out yes man so tonight we'll have on show very soon hopefully all is well we'll have the man they call mr e l ricketts the former principal of the edwin allen high school oh yes a man big up yourself mr ricketts all right you don't know I don't want to say anything more now. I'm going to leave the troublemakers them to say what they want to say later on. And you know, Mr. Ricketts is present to the vice chairman of the school board. He was he's a farmer. I think he was a farmer vice chairman of ISA as well. He was zone chairman for our same zone for here. You know, so Mr. Ricketts has... He wore many hats. And of course, he will toast us with a little history of this Edwin thing. What better person to have tonight? We will have a well-known coach coming on as well. And that coach is a very experienced man. You know, and before I go any further, let me not talk myself into trouble. But later on as well, sooner than later, we will have no other than Vassal Toto Reynolds live on our channel. We also have another coach and football educator, the man they call Patrick Green out of Mandeville, a.k.a. Cat. And he will come, he will grace us, of course, you know. 
let us open our eyes for those of you who have not seen many of the games. I am sure that he will give us a highlight of what he believes the present state of the schoolboy football is in. Or football in general in Jamaica. Now we have the team manager as well. The team manager, the man they call Mr. Donaldson, a.k.a. Botti. He is the Edwin team manager and he will join us as well. He will share with us the mood and vibes and so on going around this Edwin team. Hopefully, we will also have a guest coming out of Kuwait. A former Edwin Allen standout footballer, midfield striker, very skilled. Mark Wittick, a.k.a. Tix. And Tix will be joining us out of Kuwait. Right now it's about 4.30 in Kuwait, so, you know, let's see what's happening. We are still awaiting them. And, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I want you, of course, to welcome them when they come on to the show. So, that is the preview of our live show later on and so we will continue our discussion let me see what's going on in the group in the in the chat right now um i mean eva morgan with you. big up yourself wifey first lady chat about blue spirit hey eva is a light blue girl too you know <laughs> yeah well, light blue light blue she be here yeah so later on she can't tell me which light blue she has but me know i know george is guy <laughs> Big up yourself first, lady. All right. Otis Reed, you will cover the match tomorrow, right? How are you, man? Yes, man. How are you, what this man? Hey, all been well. I will cover the game, you know? So, wherever you are, Otis, you know, tune in to the Sadi Chris show. Tune in to the Sadi Chris channel. Live TV tomorrow you're getting. People I don't know, you know, I, I, I am trying my very best to give you some quality video. Quality, quality video. Quality streaming, but right now we are, I, I, I'm the Saudi Chris team is struggling, you know, to give you the quality that you really deserve or what you want. But I understand, you know, we have to appreciate what happened because, you know, right now, just a little camera where I use, you know, so... In the pipeline, you know, we really are, 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 are set up a real big thing. Trust me. I want to say set up a real big thing very soon, man. Now I go see quality streaming. I mean, Diane, may I tell her, big up yourself, big up Sadi from there. I may I tell her, you know, I love this. You see, we have PBL and show tonight. Hey, what a go on. Big up yourself, my family. Talk about Edwin for life. Although Diane, you know, you know Edwin Nalin, you know, but guess what? You see, because Edwin Nalin still running at the blood. Bro, bro, big up yourself. Because she can't say no other school but Edwin Nalin, because you don't know. Yeah. So, coming out, if you watch a game, when you look on the screen, if you're watching on your TV, I hope a big screen you watch, man. We had made a little improvement to our thing. You know, mm -hmm. if you notice on screen, you see, say, we have the score and the team, the name and the screen. So even though we keep commentating and giving the score, you're able to see. So for the persons who are visually impaired, you know, you listened. And for those who actually... You know, back in the days, we say, hard of hearing. The deaf are half deaf people. <laughs> Why? I tell you, they are so nice. You could see the score if you never hear me. Right? Um, what is read my principal that? Uh, which one are you principal at that about? I don't know which. I mean, I thought that. Uh, I don't think I'm here. I don't mean I feel principal. You, you mean Caesar? 
Lord have mercy. I'm going to answer that right now. You know, you know when you come on, you have to behave yourself. So all of them bad boys mess them have to behave yourself. All right. So I saw the bless up Father Bird and his creation day. How you ask him? When a bird birthday? Birds, pick up yourself anyway, you're them youth. So why a bird not in a bird? Oh, bird have to sleep. Bird not fly at night. All right, all right. That's why a bird went through so much gold in time. Place get dark, you couldn't see, you know. Yeah, man. So, you know. I'm, 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 I'm really unable to see them. So, that's how it is. Getting, you know, people on. You know, so, we want to really see how we, 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 we're doing this show later on, you know. Because... As I say, you have your guests, you know. They are coming and they are actually waiting, you know. I know them in a day, in a day, in a day waiting room. Yes. I know they have been actually watching the show. So I want to say to you, know, yeah. Big up Sir Patrick Green, the man called Cat. Big up yourself. You know. But, well, I don't say nothing yet to you know, my boss. Because you, you know, say later on, I soon put you on. We just have about what, two minutes for the live show. Yes, yes, so still are waiting. I've not seen Vassal yet. Um, so, Gregory, yes, we asked you now. Gregory Messon, he couldn't see our love. <laughs> he couldn't see our love run out of the cage. <laughs> Sir Caesar is the world's greatest. A serious thing, man. Bird, get back in the cage! That was the sound from the bad girl, Caesar, you know? <laughs> yes, sir. I tell you. So, again, we want to big up the past of the Nalin Ballas. You know, people for life. I want to take the time out right now to big up the Sadi Chris YouTube team. You know? Joel Arlood, a.k.a. CJ. That's the technical man behind the scene, you know. We're the video man. And we also have Kevin Clark. We call him Bobo. Yes. Man, they design every little thing. You know, them, them you, the young youth, them, but trust me, they're full of, full of idea. Full of quality, you them. May I tell you, man, trust me. And with that in mind, we have to big them up. You know, without them, we couldn't be doing all this thing at all. Yes. We have a big it's up that I really want to. Big up Coach Taffy. Coach Taffy. Tafari Burton. The Rasta man. Coach of the Edwin Allen football team. Tafari. Right now you trust me. You deserve it all. You are your team. And one member of his team is here you know. Mr. Butty there you know. So. I don't know we're going to hear from Mr. Butty in a little while. So, Mr. Ricketts is not yet on. Our guests are in the waiting area. It's their time now, so guess what? We only have 40 minutes with these guests or with the Zoom, so we won't be staying any longer. We will join as soon as, you know, Mr. Ricketts come on board. We will let him in and we will join, so... In order to maximize the time, let us now open up to our let us open up now to our guests. Right, so so in a little we'll have them. So you know, um, people, I tell telling you, you know, man, you see, you know, this world of technology, <laughs> trust me, you know, this world of technology, we are so happy for technology, so, alright, oh, still, so, yes. So, I must say, now we're moving towards, 
or guess. So, ladies and gentlemen, here we have this afternoon our guest. If you see on screen, we have Mr. Patrick Green in picture. Gentlemen, welcome to this Saudi Crest show. I hope you're hearing me. Can you um, let me see your faces, man? Yeah, man, the people who want to see who, who we're talking about. So, Mr. Butty, Mr. Reynolds, Coach Vassal. Yes, man, come out, man. Let me see who people are so no, man, because you don't know. So, Mr. Patrick Green was first on, and so we have Sir, yes, Sir Butty, Mr. Reynolds himself on screen. So, good night, gentlemen. Night, 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 night. Nice, nice. Yeah, right. yes. Good night to your panelists and good night to your viewers. I like. Thank you very much. Thank you very yeah. much. Yes, man. Happy to have you here. And I'm telling you, I see um Galaxy A five coming in. I'm not sure who is Galaxy A five at this minute. But can you Galaxy A five? Identify yourself. I'm not sure who is coming on with Galaxy A5. Um, um, viewers, if if let me know if you are near, if you are hearing our guest now. I'm sure you are seeing them, but let me know if you're hearing quite clearly. Um, yes, I see that. Uh, Ronald. Yeah, sorry. Make sure that extra load supporter that was at Jackson. Present himself tomorrow. Call him. The <laughs> yes, man. Him already did it. Really, trust me. That man, him already did it, man. In every match. Trust me. You know, in every match. Um, but Mr. Ma said, no, Rasta, I'm not opening up. Boy, I don't know what you're talking about. You know. Yes, sir, Rasta added. To, to one of the best gaffers out of the island. Bless up himself. You hear that? All right. So, um, yes, I still want to know if you are hearing them. Um, so... Let me just give a, 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 a introduction, short introduction of these guests. So we have Mr. Patrick Green, the man they call Cat, out of Mandeville. Cat is also a coach, a man who has been coaching for years at different levels out in Manchester. And so, again, boss, big up yourself and welcome to the Sardi Crest show. This yes, is the show that carry you all around. We also have Mr. Vassa Reynolds. Many of our guests would have known this man. The man they call Tutu, World Boss. Bossy. Yes. This is a past Edwin coach as well. And <laughs> Mr. Vassal has been around for a long, long time. And I'm sure that we have different viewers that would have known Mr. Reynolds who coach him from different sphere of life. So <laughs> that's Mr. Reynolds, you know. We also have oh our former principal. Let me take the time out to say good night to you, sir. Unmute your mic. Former principal, Mr. E. L. Ricketts. Good good night, everybody. <laughs> I tell you, live and direct, good sir night, Ricketts. Night, night. Happy to have you. So that's Mr. Ricketts, the former principal. The man who have the history where the football winning starts at Edwin Allen. No doubt that his presence tonight will bring a lot of light and of course a lot of laughter as well, as usual. So we have Mr. Botti, the team manager. Hey, the man happy, you know, man. Mr. Botti. <laughs> I know you have a lot to say, you know, a lot, a lot of vibes, a lot of mood in the camp in and around the Frankfield area. Hmm? <laughs> right. Sir. Good, good. So, um, again, good night all to my panelists and viewers, wherever you are. I hope that you are tuning in. And let me just read a few of the, 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 the messages in the chat before I get to you, panelists. So, Gregory Messam, yes, sir, two to one of the best gaffers. Okay, I read that already, all right? Bless up your, your damn self. Mr. Behave yourself, you know. <laughs> Trevor Whitty, bless up Mr. Green, aka Cat. Alright, Trevor again, bless up Sir Vassal. 
I know them don't realize you come on it, Mr. Ricky. So, so the thing stay because you come on a bit late. We still expected another yeah. guest, Mark with ticks coming out of Q8. You know, it's about 4.30, 4.40 now. So I understand. He might not be weak, awake just now. But anyhow, let's go. You know, and even though he was the last one who came on, we want to start this afternoon with Mr. Ricketts. So, Mr. Ricketts, um, you, sir, you were one of the pioneers at Edunalin as it relates to the, 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 the foundation of good football. Can you exercise a little of the history, where it started, how it started, as a principal? Mm -hmm. A man who actually, I, I think you were vice chair at Issa too, sir? Well, I was in charge of um, the Costa Cup for 14 years. Oh my God, you hear that, gentle people? So go ahead, Mr. Rickis, give us the history. Let us know where the football starts from. Okay. Good uh, night, everybody. I know this is such a young lad, five people on the, um, on the, on the chat here. Well, it's, um, what happened, sir, you are live, and we have a number of persons on YouTube watching. Oh, I see. Right, so, <laughs> a lot of them. I will ring you some of the charges, some of the comments that they are saying. So you have to just let them know. They are listening, they are watching. Okay, good. Now, um, when this school started its football program, um, with Mr. Lati as principal. The school used to get some bad beatings <laughs> from all the schools around, like 23 love, 17 love, 19 love, and all the other numbers there. <laughs> and it was embarrassing. Eden Allen High School comprehensive was like a beating stick for everybody. Right? Uh, and uh, boys who played during that during those, during those times can recall some of the comments that um, uh, were made um, in their presence and behind them and all the rest of it. Um, Mr. Lassie was not too perturbed. He usually say, go and play the game well <laughs> and don't create any mischief on the match and in the, on the field. So, when I took over in 1986, um, there was hardly any football, any field. Uh, the school used to wear cows at the time, and where the tank is now, on the play field, yes. from, from the cricket pitch right back to the tank was like a swamp. If you walked over there any time, You'd have to keep your eyes on the ground because you <laughs> might fall into a hole and break your leg. <laughs> so, um, when I took over, I said, boy, we have to get the sports program going. And I, I started the school in January 1986. And the rains came and we couldn't get the chance to do as much as we wanted. But we started to work on the field and when i got a, a grader from mandeville to start the field the grader got stuck <laughs> and we have to get a tractor to pull out the grader out of the, the muddy area from the half of the field uh, from the cricket pitch right back to the the, um, the tank it was so very bad that we have to allow it to dry out before the grader could resume anything so the months of um uh, March, April, May, and of course you have the May rains and then we have to take a pull. But eventually, we got the field up and running, and then the first year of a track, as the following year, 87, we could only, only use a half of the field. But gradually, we continue working on it until we got a field and the start the football competition and the track program and all the rest of it. Now, when I drew this up, Mr. Jackson was there and Nassi Brown. Okay. And uh, afterwards, Mr. Reynolds came and helped Mr. Jackson with the football program. 
and Jackson was very serious in getting the, the boys um, up and running and uh, we were able to identify a team and we kept at it we got beating in the first set of matches but not the kind of beating that the school got in the early days <laughs> I got beaten by two one like two in about scoring goal initially until the boys mm -hmm. um, started to score one or two goals but they still got beat and the school that we beat first was Glen Muir and um, I called Tafari and said Tafari look like the football program is on the rebound and uh, I am thankful for Piba for the support that it is giving to the team and with that kind of support, you can't allow the team not to perform well. Because the past footballers never had to come on board and support the program. True. And they said, yes, sir, we want to push the boys to do well. And I said, you're going to play um, Glenmuir tomorrow? Tell the boys, say, you must go down and beat Glenmuir again. <laughs> 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 and I listened to the results, <laughs> and I heard that um, Edwin Allen beat Glenmuir to um, to love. So I called uh, Tafari and said, Tafari, um, the school is, is on the rebound, so you have to keep it that way. Tell the boys, they can't afford to lose any match as of this moment, because after we beat Glenmuir the first time, the boys got motivated. And they beat all the schools that used to beat Eden Allen in the early days. <laughs> you know? All right, so let me cut it there for a little while, Mr. Ricketts. I want to take you to somebody else. But before I, I, I get to Mr. Green coming up in a little while, let me just read some of the, the messages in the chat. Um, Trevor Wittick. Yes, yes. Um, good evening to the great Sir Elroy Ricketts. That's coming from your... <laughs> Captain Sir Ricketts, yes, <laughs> the man yes, called yes. Toad. <laughs> yes, and Dallas Harris, Mr. Ricketts, and the rest of the panel. Good night. That coming from the Piba chairman, Dallas Harris, aka Ninja. Otis Reed, Wagwan, Mr. Botti, big up yourself. All right, Gregory Messam, come in and said, Jaja, mighty fool, the great FC Latte, have me pushing his silver Chevrolet up the hill. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Dia, you bed, you know. <laughs> what is? Hello, <laughs> well, never, never know that my principal beating stick. Oh no! <laughs> All right, Gregory Messam again. Who goes there, Mr. Caesar, my influenza? <laughs> I was scared of this general. He even when school not in session, I'm still hiding from the great man. <laughs> Long live our beloved principal, Mr. Elroy. That's coming from Mr. All right, so, um, Mr. Green, you heard where Edwin Allen coming from. Um, I'm not sure those things are still happening. One and two, little nine, ten and twelve, love. What's your take on, on, on schoolboy football at the present moment, Mr. Green? Looking at, probably give you a little comparison of yesteryear and where it is now. What, as a big coach, as a man in the football for so long, uh, good night again to the panelists and to your audience. Um, personally, I feel that the, the, the football is trending in the right direction. And, and this, I think, is based on the fact that the, um, as we call them, old boys and past students are really the driving force behind um, the football. Most of the schools don't have the resources to actually take on a football program. And if you notice that the schools that are actually doing well are the schools that have the old boys association directly behind him putting in the funds uh, and all of that the schools that choose good coaches and have a night uh, have a good good have the resources and have a good program behind them they generally tend to be the teams that that that, that um win the competitions or perform well um in the competition so i'm seeing where 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 the football is trending in that direction um how the teams play is generally a reflection of the coaches that coach them. And uh, my okay. disappointment with some of these coaches is that I'm not seeing if you're coaching a team and um, 
for example, you're using a specific formation. There's a level of, of, of movement that is required within the formation. And sometimes when you're watching the game, you're not able to see this. And um, I think that, that that is where we're falling short with, with, with some of these kids. We're teaching the football. We're teaching the hoes. We need to teach the whys as it relates to why we do what we do on the field. And, you know, I need to see a little bit more an understanding of the game from the players. This football is, is the Brazilian scarlet beautiful game. So when we watch it as spectators, um, we should see the beauty of the game, the movement that is required and all of that. So that's my only disappointment. But we're training in the right, in the right direction with the resources that is coming in. And um, I think Jamaica will be better for it. All right. Well done. Well done. Thank you very much. And, you know, I'm, I've seen that, you know. I, I know as a young coach myself, probably younger than my age, but um, I had the experience of, of you know, developing a, quite a number of players, young youth, just like how I was developed by the coach of the coach here tonight. And, you know, I really understand. Now I'm seeing it. The coaches and the impact they have on the game. It's getting better at the schoolboy level. It's getting better. So that's quite true. But on that though, let me bring in Mr. Vas Reynolds now, Tutu, because this man, you see, this man is the coach of coaches in Jamaica right now, you know. And, and you see him up right now, I don't even know if he's fully awake because, you know, <laughs> he's a tired man. He's planning for another session tomorrow, you know. So, coach. Fassel, you heard Mr. Green talking about the coaches. What's your take now? You have been coaching a lot of people. But before you go, let me just acknowledge the, 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 the Q18 in the house tonight. So, Mr. Mark Wittick, Tix, who just joining, I realize you just... I don't know if you guys hearing me. We are hearing you loud and clear, Mr. Mark Wittick, the man from the United. So, Wittick, Mark Wittick is... The, he, he has a channel, a YouTube channel. The United and Bayer Show. Are you hearing us, Mark? Mark, can you hear us? All right. It seems like Mark having some technical challenges. But if you, when you get yourself started out, Mark, you can chip in and we acknowledge you. So let me go to, to Mr. Reynolds now. As a coach oh, of okay. all coach, let me know what's happening. Tell oh, us, I man. Let us know okay. what's happening with the coaches, Sir Reynolds. Um... Good night, good night, good night to your, your, your panel and your, your viewers and listeners. Um, it's a pleasure to, to join your program tonight. Sir. Thank um, you, man. You are welcome. Good. Well, you know, as, as, you, as you rightfully said, um, I'm going to be on the tennis side. Um, we are planning for the ending or the um, culmination of our, of our key life that we have been conducting in in, in at the Centre in the region for the past three weeks. So tomorrow will be the, the final day when the coaches will do their exam. And then down towards uh, Sunday, Monday, it will be the key license for the, the, the female coaches in the And um, And next weekend, we will have the one of two key license for male coaches. And the second one is scheduled for sometime in December. So hold on, oh. hold on, hold on, Coach Vassal. You, you're saying female coaches, you have a, a different session for the female coaches? Yes, yes, yes. There will be, there will be three key life supporters between, between this week and the, and, and, and the end of December. Um, this weekend, not this weekend, next year, yes, this weekend coming, we will have the first one and that will, just for, that will be just for the female coaches. And and um, next weekend, I, I think it's, it's the, the first one for the male begins next week, Saturday. Next week, Thursday, sorry. So it will be Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday for the, the male next weekend. And the female begins, I think, tomorrow, two to about Tuesday. And then the final leg of the sea license for another group of male coaches will be sometime in mid December. So, so. FIFA would have mandated um, the FAs to conquer up in this case to improve um, the and qualification of our coach. Uh, and I say qualification of coaches because one of the things that we, have, we would have noticed we have hundreds or thousands of coaches in Jamaica. 
but 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 people um and in this case Sanka Cup feel that certification and 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 the knowledge of coaching need need to be paid attention to and so um the coaching education program would have rolled out by JPEG supported by Sanka over the past year and a half, two years. And so far, um, as it relates to the D license, we would have gone to possible more than 60% of the parity so far, and qualifying over 20 coaches at the D license level. Um, prior to that, you would have had the level one and level two coaching courses in Jamaica. When we did the B license uh, a year and a half ago, I think it was about 22 of us. Um, guided, guided by Concord and and um, and FIFA. we out of that B license, we recognized that doing level two was far set from stepping up to the B license, and so we introduced the C license as a to bridge the gap between level two and the B license, and so we would have conducted a C license course, but about the first C license course. Um, and, and this course was the c life um, program presented by, by a chief representative, Antoine, from Trinidad. He's been he's present in, in the island to join us in these c life courses. So we would have done it, kind of this for the first c life a few months ago. Um, and so by the end of this year, we will have another three groups of courses qualified for the c life So the c life is really to bridge the gap between the level two and the B life. So we are hoping that persons who are, who are qualifying for the B life for this the country. Um, some amount of those courses will be doing the C life um, over the next quarter uh, to six weeks. And 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 preparing that cohort that will that will jump straight into the B life um sometime in twenty twenty. And so the, the, the mandate really is to improve the knowledge of coaching and and the most important thing is certification. Because going forward, um, I think JFF will be getting very serious in terms of mandating club football, grassroots football, um, to be coached by a certain level of certification. Um, so, so that's that's the aim. Um, so so we have been embarking on a robust program as it relates to coaching education, and we will be talking every criticism corner. Of Jamaica to certify the coaches and the include the coach. And already, already we have we have seen improvement in terms of, you know, when I watch the, the youngsters playing and, and even at the club level, um, you know, it, it, it's evident, it's evident that the, the 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 level of coaching I think has improved and um, more coaches are studying, more coaches, more coaches have done the courses, and so we saw a lot of that coming out. Um, if I may say, um, um, Kevin, that I think with the way the football is concerned presently, there is more commercialization, there is more resources, um, there is more interest, and uh, the economy side of it, there is more money. Um, but for some reason, if I'm to compare the football with the 10, 15 years ago, I think the quality of the youngsters coming through from the grassroots level is, 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 is something that, that maybe we need to, to improve. Uh, we're not in the sort of quality of the pitch as we used to see back in the days 10, 12 years ago. I don't know what is causing that, and, and that is something that, I mean, the, all the stakeholders possibly need to look into. To get back our football in terms of quality right. of play up to a level that is acceptable so, and that can challenge not just locally but 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 internationally internationally. So okay. coach, football. let me let me pause, let me cut you a little bit there. But um I have a few questions for you as it relates to the coaching. But I'm gonna bring you back in. But in the meantime, this is two things I want you to look at. I want you to explain to us how persons overseas can get involved in these C and D license if you have virtual um, training for the future and one the cost of it. So next time when we come back in with you, these are things I want you to address. All right. So let me just move on to the, the United and by a showman, the man called Mark Whitty coming out of United. 
I'm not sure how united he is now, but he's from Q8. What time is it now, Mark? Ah, uh, what time is it now, man? It's about 5.30 in the morning, bro. 5.30 okay. in the morning, man. So, good morning, sir. Uh, huh? Good morning, and welcome to the Sardi Crest Show. Uh, good, uh, good morning, sir. Thanks for having me. Thanks for having me. Thanks for the invite. Good, good night, gentlemen. It's like, what now? After nine, back home. After nine, back home. Yeah? Good night, man. Yes, man. It's a pleasure to be here with you guys. Um... I'm familiar with some of the gentlemen, not all of them. I see two gentlemen I'm not sure about, but I guess they are strongly involved in football. And as you all know, that is my passion, easily. Good, good night, well, Mark. Good night. <laughs> good, good night, sir. <laughs> good to see you. Good to see you. Nice to see you, too, sir. Nice to see you, too. I'm on this a big group from here in the Middle East. Very, very close, so. Next week, you have some guys coming across, I think Belgium and um, Bel Belgium and Egypt. They're down the road from me next door, so. I don't know, Mr. Mr. Wittig. Yes, sir. I don't know if we can get something to stream via your channel um, to share with the people in back home with, with the game. Uh, Belgium and um, Egypt. That would be nice. Yeah, that, yeah, that is something that we, we could look into. But yeah, man, um, just one more thing, though. Mm -hmm. Mr. Ronald. Um, I kind of get in late somewhat, and um, I heard you talking about the the different coaching um, levels and the certification. Back when I was home, right, I was so interested in getting um, the different levels, but it was to me it was about the distance away from um, the distance away from where I was. So are you talking about it and? Mr. Wittick, I know that I'm not I'm not the host, sir. Definitely, I'm not the host. Yeah, me understand. You, know, you run a show, so you want to take over the show. Let me just put it to the host. You need to pay. You need to pay, actually you right, need to pay for this, sir. Without advertising yes, United show either. But go ahead. Quickly. No, man, I'm not. <laughs> yeah, it's just about availability to um across the island. Just availability. Because, as I said, I wanted to do it back then. But it was a wee bit too far to leave school. I wouldn't have enough time to like leave school in the afternoon and I wouldn't be, wouldn't be granted that amount of time to leave school daily to go get it when I was pretty much at a junior high school and at necessarily a high school where you know that you needed to coach in the in the Costa Cup. So as it relates to availability, that is just my concern across the island to some people that they look so uncranny that the country. Well well Mark, I can tell you that Mr. Reynolds, we're not hearing you loudly. Can you turn up your volume? You hear me now? Quietly, yeah, 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 yeah. loud and clear. I, I'm saying to Mark and, and, and the other listeners and viewers that the program, the coaching education program for the coaches that we would have rolled out two years ago, it's, it's, it's now far and wide and different from, from back then, Mark. As a matter of fact, back then, everything was just Kingston, Kingston. But, but especially for the DLIC, what we would have done is, is visit um, every parish or sometimes based on the number, numbers of coaches we'll do like two or three parishes together. Um, and so so, so it's, a, it's a little bit different. As a matter of fact, so, the, so for the D license, we're circling the 14 parishes. For the C license, we're trying to have two legs, one in Kingston, one, one in Mantico Bay, to sort of sectionalize the thing so that it's, it's close and, 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 and accessible to court. So it's a little bit better now in terms of spreading the wings and giving everybody an opportunity based on where you're living in the court. Okay. That's, that's so... Mark, you know, you have to buy a ticket and come back down, you know. Later on, you'll hear if you can access the course and, and, and like. Yeah, man. Right. I hope you guys do it in the summer. Yeah, All right. Yeah, um, gentlemen... We are all about, most of us here, we talk about football and we talk about team and we talk about Edwin Allen. You know, we are on a very good run. You know, when you check out, I can bet you right now, if you should well run a real pool on this platform, you will find probably 80% of, the, of the, 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 the viewers saying that Edwin Allen will win this year's Dakasta Cup competition. Very good. But... Since and that, that is my mode. Big up yourself, yes, man. 
let me just invite <laughs> Mr. Botti, the team manager. That, Botti, what is the mood like? What is the, the mood like down in Frankfield or in the school? Let me hear what's happening. Uh, Alright, good night everyone. Good night, Mr. Ricketts. Um, yes, Mr. Wittig, and before I say anything about mood or whatever, um, I really want to express gratitude to Piba, um, the principal, HOD, Mr. Dyke, the teachers at school here. I mean, they are really playing a great role in these boys' lives. And I mean, even this far that we have reached is really because of the support that we have been getting. And we hope that this will continue going forward. Um, the community, they are really excited um, knowing that it's been years from I came to Edina in 2002. I don't think we have reached this far or even the second round for many years. So it's really, really, really a good feeling. I mean, when I walk in Frankfield, first star there saying that, um, yeah, we see you on TV, the boy is a good man, and all uh, that. So, I mean, it's, and I'm glad for the role that technology has played as well because persons can be home and seeing what is going on and all of that. It's really a good feeling. Really, really a good feeling. But, but hold on, man. Hold on. You know, say, me feel like I kick you off a show. <laughs> Let me talk about the role of technology. You must say the role of the Saudi Crest show. Sure. This are but Come man. on, man. Come on, man. Give me some traction, man. <laughs> yes. <laughs> We're happy for the Saudi Crest show and you, Mr. Wittig, for doing this show so people can be aware of what is happening. <laughs> and I mean, even when the feed is not as good as person would expect, they say they still tune in based on the links that you continue to share with us. And I can share my status so others can view. Very really grateful for that. No yeah, man, thank you. I'm thank you. to go to the final as you said earlier, so it's just great things from your own. All right, thank you very much. Now let me rally back around. But let us look at what all the discussion started out with. So, Mr. Green, I'm coming back to you. You listen to Coach Reynolds based on the coaching, and I you alluded to it that things are getting better. No, it is very difficult. I know that you people don't have a team per se that you, 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 you are moving with, especially you, Mr. Green. Vassal have a team, but I don't know if you want to say anything to about him coaching. But just a minute though, because we're kind of running out of time. Maybe we can recon re, re, re and get you back on the last couple of minutes. But Mr. Green, do you think the Dakar Stack Cup will go to Manchester or will it go to Clarendon this year? Um, from what I'm seeing, I, I, I'm, I'm leaning towards, as a, as a Manchesterian though, I'm leaning towards Clarendon based on the, 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 um, what I'm seeing on the field. Good, good. Not, not being biased or anything like that. What I'm seeing, um, the Clarendon team seems to be a strong team. But I hope to say, I've not seen the, the, the uh, Aaron Allen team as yet. I plan to do that tomorrow because they'll be at Brooks Park tomorrow. So I can't. Probably have a better judgment. I've actually not seen them play. I've been quite a bit busy because I didn't watch the first round. I, t I tend to watch the second round of the football, so that's where the better teams are. So I'll have a look at the um, Edward Allen team tomorrow. All right. Um, one of the, 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 the things, though, that, and Vassal um, alluded to it, the quality of the players. That's why presently I'm actually coaching at the grassroots level at uh, the Hanbury Academy. So it's just like in basic school, I, we realize that the government is spending the money at the primary and the, the, the tertiary level and neglecting the basic school level. And that is where it starts at the grassroots. So we need some of the better coaches at the grassroots level. All right. So let we me, can have quality players going forward. Let me come back to this. I, I think I'm not managing the time well. But guess what? We have a little time, but I still want to hear something. Mr. Ricketts. I mean, sure. without any biasness, where, where you think this cup going this year? I know you're following, you're probably not at the match live, and I know you watch on Sadi Chris channel, but where do you think this Dakasta Cup is going this year? I, I'm not too certain, you know. I have not seen any of the teams play, uh, but I plan to watch Edwin Allen tomorrow. Good, good. Um, um, I know Clarendon College is doing well. 
and a few other teams throughout the country are doing well. So I don't want to hazard a guest until I watch a couple of other matches and observe what's going on. But I'm really hoping that Eden Allen will do very well tomorrow. All right. And if they, if they beat Tana in college, that will be history. <laughs> that is history. But before, yes. Mr. Reynolds, finally, sir, you talk to me about where you think it is going this year. I mean, no, you know what I'm doing, you know, because there are some things and another show are going to carry you in. But where do you think the Dakar Stock Cup going this year? And be careful of your hands, I know. But you're free. Go ahead. No, um, let me apologize for that. But I'm going to get back, Mr. Reynolds on the panel and, 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 and live for you. So just give me a few minutes. I'm going to get them on. I'm going to ask my producer to ensure that they are back on. So in a few minutes. But gentlemen, in the chat, let me just read a few chat. <laughs> and ladies, you can't forget that we have the ladies here. You know. And I want to say this though, you know, as we said that um, there is a particular person who normally come to the gates. And I hear Ray Ray calling out for him. That I must get him at the next match. Ray, that man come to every game. Trust me. Um, Mr. Reynolds, if you're watching on YouTube, I'm trying to get you back on. But if you are on YouTube, just um, a, a question from Dallas Harris. You know, he, he's asking, question for Mr. Reynolds. Is this the present Jamaica coach and input in the coaching course? So look out for that one, right? Um, Eureka, physics in the lab. <laughs> Potential. <laughs> President E.L. Ricketts. You okay, can know, say, general them that from Edwin Allen. You know, yeah, you know I heard um, Butty mention about the, the input of the teachers, and I, I felt really good about it. But there's one thing that I want to get to understand. I don't know the teachers per se, but I, I, I would love to know how many of these teachers come to the games? I really want to know that. So, if anybody in can let me know, just bring it on for me. Because, I be, hey, listen to me no man, may I tell you no man, football run different. And may I tell you, if you can get the teachers in, and get everybody in, me no have no problem, I'm sure things can happen. So, Recording in progress. I'm trying to get back um, our panelists, but in the meantime, in the chat, and let me ask now, in the chat, I'm going to run a little poll. Type in the chat for me quickly. Let me know your views of where, not just the Dakasta Cup, but let us start off. Why do you think the Dakasta Cup is going boy this year? Not parish for you, but which school? Let me see or nothing. Type in the chat. Yeah, man, type in the chat because we know no lighting, you know. But in the meantime, once you do that, again, first time viewers, if you have not yet um, subscribe, please do so because we are trying to build this channel, you know. Because let me tell you, we must grow. This is the Chris channel. We promise to bring you football onwards, regardless of where you are. Yes? And which competition. So after the Dakasta Cup competition, ladies and gentlemen, we want to ensure that we bring you some football. Just let me know. Let me know. Where do you want to go? You know, in terms of the football matches. You have the Premier League coming up. You have a number of um, major leagues and Division 1 coming up. And so, we try our best to bring you that level of football after schoolboy football. Um, yes, there is some technical difficulties. I've lost my camera, but I am still here. So, guess what? This won't stop the show. In a little while, I'll get back the panelists. And I'm sending them the link now to the, the thing. So, Vasa Reynolds is back on. So, let's see what happened. So, Vasa.
Yes, man. You can go ahead, man. You're live on here, sir, Vassal. You're a bit low, though. You're a bit low. The boss man drop him glasses. <laughs> Hello? Yes, sir. I hear you now. Yeah, man. So, your question was who, who, which team do I think would win the Dakar Stop? Yes, yes. Where, where what? Where you're gone again, so your audio giving trouble. Hello? Yeah man, we're here, we're here. Come in. I, I am saying that if 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 the first set of games are anything to go by, um it's it's going to be difficult to call. You realize that they, they all the games end with a one nil victory for for, 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 for for the various teams. Good? Yes. Um what I would have noticed at this stage though, uh compared to over the other years there are some notice, noticeable absentees of some big names, the Cornwall College. Mm -hmm. uh, hello? Yes, I'm here, man. Go ahead. Yeah, man. The Cornwall Colleges, the the the, the St. Elizabeth Technical, the Garvey Masseos. Okay. Um, and so the route is, is a little bit easier for the ones that are competing now. Um, the surprise package for me so far, William Nib and Central I out of standard. Okay. Um, although I can't see any of the two winning, I would, I would, I would, I would think that it's, it's, it's. I would give the Canaan College team the edge. I've not seen them play, but I would have been aware that they have a very um, a quality team and a, and, a, and, a, and a experienced team, the most experienced team in the competition. I am a little bit. Our players are the surprise of how well Edwin Allen is doing. Um, not shock, but surprise. Mainly due to the fact that they would have lost a number of players from last season. Okay. But when I saw them play mid-summer, somewhere about the end of July, I, I, I did pull the coach that I was surprised of how well they are playing. So I'm not totally shocked or surprised that they are doing this well. Um, only for the fact that they would have lost so many players. I would think that Canaan College, Manchester I um, have a very good knowledge of, of what that team can do, of an obvious reason. Ellen Allen and Manning's I, I would think that the, the, the Rockers Cup will fall right there. Wow. One of the four. I'm All not right. too certain I don't want to call it, but I would give the Canaan College the edge. The game tomorrow between Canaan College and, and Ellen Allen can dip the scale in terms of favoritism. Um, if Edwin Allen can topple Glenmuir and then topple Canaan College, it means that they would maybe be the favourite. And um, and I guess the, the Manchester I and the Manning's High School teams are teams that you have to watch. Okay, very good, very good. Mark, how much games have you seen? Have you been in touch with the games, with the competition so far? Are you just biased towards Edwin Allen? Let me know. Um, no, in all honesty though, bro, I'm pretty much biased towards Edwin Allen because... That's the game. Those are the games that I've seen. Okay. Um, and where are where those games? Ge huh? Where are those games? The <laughs> Sardi Crest show. Jimmy. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> definitely, definitely, Mr. Witty. Definitely, the Sardi Crest show. Yes, man. Um, so, yes, man. I saw the Edwin Allen and... The Edwin Allen and Clarendon College game. Edwin Allen and Clarendon College game, and... In all honesty, Clarendon College seem to be technically solid, right? I've not seen them like you guys have seen them watching the games and stuff, but they look to be technically solid. So I can only give my opinion based on what I've seen with Clarendon College and Edwin Allen. Edwin Allen looks to be a fighting team. It, it, it looks like, like um, they have a solid, solid team in terms of togetherness, fighting for each other. That's what I've seen. But in terms of being technical, um, I would say Clarendon College, technically, is a wee bit better. Okay. 
I'm not sure about the other schools from the other areas, but um, based on what I was, based on the feedback that I've been getting, and as you all know, it, it might be a wee bit biased given the fact that most of my feedback is coming from Eden Allen supporters. Um, it seems as if the Clarendon team are, are really, really strong. I have not seen um, the the other teams, the, the, the Manchester Eyes and so on and so forth. But I, I tend to believe because if I'm not lying. Um, I think Clarendon College dominated at Rossi's, what was it? It was? I yes, remember. yes, yes. Spank Rossi's handsomely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw a score That line was a surprise score line that. to me. Yeah, so see, so I'm thinking the Clarendon teams have a good, good chance of winning. Um, I'm not sure about the, the other the other parishes, but let's see. So my, my, my bias tends to lean towards what I've seen which is pretty much the, the Clarendon team. And as you all know, Eddie Allen have my full, full backing. I can't, I can't help you out there, you know. You don't have to think about the other parishes, really, you know. I can't give you a real help, you know. <laughs> um, but, you know, <laughs> I, am not, I am not allowed to make any predictions this night. I was, I was given a stern warning by some of the viewers in the chat. They say I should not make any prediction. But guess what? I don't know how the show will finish without my prediction. And you see what happened now? The, the, the uh, game tomorrow with Eden Allen at yes. Park. Who, who, who is the opponent? Clarendon College. You take now back. Oh. <laughs> but, um, right. gentlemen, you know, Mr. Vassal, there's one question that was here from Dallas Harris to you. Question for Mr. Reynolds. Is the present Jamaica coach an input in the coaching course? Um, well, well, the present, that, that's, that's a national rugby boys coach from Iceland, right? Yes, I suppose. Not, not presently, because remember, he would have just came in recently and then just was, got busy with the Argentina game and just recently the Cameroon. Cameroon game, but um, he's looking forward to make a significant contribution at all levels, coaching education, the youth coaches, wherever we need him to assist. So let's see, but not 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 know what we do. We have some people from 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 overseas that will represent uh, um, FIFA, and okay. those are the persons that will be will be leading the sea license with with some of us as local coaching educators oh. at the sea license level. Right? So, good, um, not, 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 as, not at the present time. Very good. Now, um, Sir Butty, before you leave us, I was asking you a question. Because I heard, and let me apologize again, viewers and my panelists. Somehow my camera has failed. I'm trying to get it back up. But in the meantime, we are still here, live and direct. So, Butty. You said that the teachers are playing a very good role. I want to stick you up on this one. Not so much. I don't know all the teachers, but I am not sure if I'm seeing many teachers at the games. Is there an issue? I don't think, Clar I don't think um, in Clarendon we can compete with spectators for any of the other teams. But my thing as a, as a manager, what is the plan going forward to get more support as it relates to spectators to the games? Uh, well, um, a few teachers attend the games, uh, Mr. Wittig. Okay. Uh, um, as I said, I don't really know, I really don't see a lot of the teachers, but they are there, some are there uh, watching live. I mean, the numbers could be better in terms of turnout to the games, yes, but I don't know if it's um, the conditions of the road or what, or the distance, the venues, I really don't know, but... When you're at school, they really check up, they contribute what they can contribute. I mean, we had some issues with players being sick from the Magra game. And we, we told the teachers because they asked them. Okay. They yeah. pitched in, who carried, carried fruits and little vitamins, anything at all that would help the players. They pitched in and they helped. So, yeah, they always check on the boys. Some of the teachers have um, individual boys that they look out for, whether it is to assist with lunch or just to give them a pocket money 
or just ensure they are all right while they are at school. So, yeah, man, teachers are there, back in us 100%. I mean, the turtle can be better at games, yes, but um, going forward, uh, I really don't know what I can say that will help to improve the spectators or their presence at games, but probably can provide a bus to take teachers. Or other spectators to the matches. I think other spectators, um, you know, because um, let me tell you, I am happy that these boys don't they don't have no fear as far as we see. This adrenaline team, gentle people, they don't have no fear. Because some of the games that they have went to, away from the games that played at adrenaline, a handful when you listen to the persons who cheering on adrenaline, you can hear distinct voices. Because a few people. And I'm happy for that. But one of the one of the things that I am disappointed in, Mr. Butty, and I'm not blaming anybody here, it, it, it's just more so the adrenaline fan. We have just won the, our last year we have won the Ben Francisco. So I believe that at least we'd have some wagonists. <laughs> but we don't have no wagonists. I don't know what go on. Is it that they don't cherish the Ben Francisco? Because I remember last year in the stands, you know. Maybe about 10 or 12 of us there, and I don't even want to repeat what nearly happened to poor Sadi. But, you know, it was just a few people. You know, very well, few of I us. Heard, I, heard, I heard somebody said um, on Wednesday that um, since after we lost the Mannings, then Drew would said persons really stopped coming to the games. But you know, these boys, as I said, they are not fearful and I think they do better under pressure. Um, not having much fans at Glimmer much and winning the game, I think that um, because persons, I think persons gave up on us when they lost the first game and they drew. I think they gave up on us and said we are going to drop out. But the boys were really resilient and they bounced back. They didn't even know that they went through after they beat Glimmer because we were checking that they need to win by three three goals <laughs> because we were looking at the goal against us that they scored but based on what coach Chaffee explained after the game when they found out that they went through they were really excited and all of that so I mean going forward as I said they don't have any fears so we are just looking to go full-fledged to the finals and I think as of tomorrow you will see more spectators coming out because now they are more confident they are up again the Wolganist are going to be at Brooks Park tomorrow, so you can look for an increase in our spectators. And that's nice. It's, listen, you know, this is what people want to say, you know, it's good to have Wolganist, you know. Yeah, man. Yeah, good man. to have Wolganist, because if you don't have Wolganist, you don't have no fan. Many of us yeah, now man. watching our, like, EPL, if we ever know which team we used to cheer for in our first instance. Not that we switch in our last couple of days, but we don't say nothing. I think we are saying nothing. The World Cup has come up with some people that go start cheering for some team. They never cheer for them before, but guess what? The wagonist thing. So it's good to... <laughs> maybe not good to be a wagonist, but it's good to have wagonists. Yeah, so <laughs> we expect an increase as of tomorrow. All right, good. Back to you, Mr. Green. Um, we, 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 we will end this part of the show in the next 10 or so minutes. You mentioned that you're at the grassroots level. In terms of Grassroots level, are you at a school or are you at the parish level um, coaching? Let us know what's happening I'm, down in Manchester. I'm, yeah, there are a few um, football academies, fledgling football academies in, in, in Manchester. I am present there at the Hanbury um, Football Club. Okay, I'm interesting. I'm working with the, with the youngsters there. Okay. All right. That's nice. Mr. Reynolds. I say I have some things yes, that I want you to tell me about, you know. One of the most decorated high school boy, school boy coach. Where are you now, sir? I am, I am at the Alphonso Davis High School rebuilding a program for that institution, sir. Alphonso Davis, not Spalding? Normally Spalding's High. Oh, yes, sir. okay, okay. So we can expect big things next year from Alphonso? Well, I tell you what, um... I went there, what, 10 days before the start of the Lacasta Cup. Um, very, very young squad the coach had from, from July working with. Average age 16. Okay. Um, just missed out for 
um, to qualify for the second round by two points. Um, we are looking to retain over ninety percent of those players once they stay in school. Um, presently, the two U teams have been doing very well in the under sixteen and the under fourteen. I think. I think, well, we won the last two games today, the under 14 and the under 16. Congrats, um, congrats. The under 14 has now qualified for the quarter final round. The under 16 is waiting on other results. So it's, it's, it's a good look. It's going to take a lot of work, but it's a good look. Um, very encouraging. And you can, you can, as you rightfully said, you can look out for the Alphonse State High School to be a force to reckon with in the next couple of years as it relates to school work. I will be looking out, you know, and you know, I always support you, but as long as you don't come up against the Edwin Allen thing, you stay one side. But I will support you on that part. Mr. Butty, tell me, you had under 16, under 14 match today. How, how, it, how those matches went today? Well, um, not the result we expected, but um, the under 14, they scored an own goal. So, Pernan College won by one. And the under 16, they were defeated 2-0. By the same kind of college, so. So, so it's a it's a kind of college double D is a is a double <laughs> wapak today and tomorrow. Yeah, <laughs> yes, they say they're giving us Trinity today and tomorrow, so let's see how that works out. <laughs> you know, me happy for them results here today. Cause them score them score for them goals already, you know. <laughs> so them score them goals already, but um, nevertheless, though, you know, I when I heard Serena talk about the, you know under sixteen, under fourteen, and. Based on how ISA structure and ISA rules are going now, it's very important that we invest in our youth program. You know, Mr. Green spoke about the issue of the, 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 the very young students playing football. And it's important because this is where we are going. This is the way to go. And we can continue to looking for ready-made players transferring here and there because we will end up in some with big trouble, right? Because, trust me, um, you know, the three transfer rule, I won't go much into, but that will affect if we're going to continue that way. So the grassroots thing is very important. And so, Mr. Butty, I implore you, sir, just to give people some more information as it relates to these youth teams. You know, let me know what's happening because it's important. I just don't follow the E-Cup, you know, because right now this Dakasta Cup thing will finish in a little while. And come next year again, we're going to wonder what's happening. But... Steadying the ship from the youngsters is very, very important. Let me just take a few, a few of the, 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 the messages in the chat. Christopher Dunkley, a.k.a. Sasa. Want to remember him? Why, Sasa, yeah, man. man. Big Sas. Big up yourself. Sasa, blessed love. Bless up the best principal in Jamaica High School. Where are they, man? It's I am right. Talk truth. Errol Stewart, you join on. Good evening, everyone. At night now, boss. Where you just have come from? All right, Mr. Stewart, big up yourself. <laughs> Gregory Messam, Skipper Trevor, what's good? My big boss, all is great on your side. Where you say, man? Which one I said that you talk about the Messam? So, um, gentle people, it, 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 it has been a very good season for this year, the Costa Cup. But guess what? I want to hold on. Um, I don't know if you, people, the panelists, if you are also on YouTube. Are you on YouTube? Are you on the channel um, too? The YouTube channel? Yeah, okay. I was watching it before I came on. Okay. I'm just going to look at something and we want to discuss. We're going to look at the results of the last games. You know, and I just want to get you on just to see where we're at. So, the last game that was played um, on Wednesday, that was the first game, the first set of games in the, in the quarterfinal round. In Group A, Manchester High and Mannings, they won their respective games. I think Manchester, and as Vas rightly said, all the games in the quarterfinal were as a result of Bob Marley. One love. It is, it, <laughs> it is a very interesting set of results. Every single game in the quarterfinal, there was a 1-0 victory. 
And so, come tomorrow. Why it is so interesting? We have in group A, Manchester and Mannings, the two M teams, two of the favorites to come from that group, by my estimation. And I predicted earlier that Mannings, and I think I predicted Mannings and, and Frome to go through this one. I ha somehow I had left out Manchester for some reason. But as it stands now, there's advantages with Manchester and Mannings. Mr. Reynolds spoke about us. So, Mr. Manchesterian, Mr. Green, tell me a little. Yeah. Look at these set of results in Group A. Who are you taking through? Which teams you expect to go through based on this one game? And it's an expectation or a prediction. And also, members on the platform, YouTube, let me see you in the chat, man. Let me hear what you have to say. Show me what you think. Okay, I, I think the Manchester team um, has been growing leaps and bounds in, in, in terms of the initial games that I saw. They seem to be getting better. I think they have um, a panel of coaches there. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Why was <I> laughing? <laughs> no, 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 well, I laugh for two reasons, you know. I laugh because I want to ask Coach, Coach, Coach Green if he's one of a member of that panel. And, and two, yeah, and two, when he said a panel of coaches. Certainly, I'm not one of, these, one, one of that panel. For me personally, I, I, I think um, the amount of coaches that, they, that, that are there. <laughs> For me, it's kind of confusing, but the, the, the team is, 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 is performing, so I'll have to lift my hats off to them. Um, they're getting better. I don't know which are the coaches um, they're taking instructions from, but the, the team seems to be doing a little bit better. So I'm looking at um, the Mannings team and the Manchester team to go through from this group. Okay. I think Manchester has um, William, William Nib next. I think um, they should get the better of the William Lip team. All right, very good. V Vassal, Coach Vassal. Why, yes, sir. Why you laugh, man? Why did you laugh? No, I mean, you know, I, well, well, as I said, you know, just mentioning a panel of coaches, just, just by saying that, I mean, you know. And I was wondering for a moment, because I read about the panel of coaches, but I wasn't. I'm not too sure enough all the members of the panel, so I, I thought Cat, Cat, Cat was, a was a part of the panel. <laughs> no, no, I, I, um, what, what, the, the, what I, I saw, uh, there's, 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 um, Bradley Stewart. You <laughs> don't <laughs> <laughs> but I think you know all the coaches that are there. You're probably just pulling your legs. No, <laughs> no, no, I heard, I heard a few names, but I, I'm not, no, 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 no. But you know, but, but I got you, I got you. you know? Okay, <laughs> well, well. Coach there, there, there are four, there, are, there are five coaches there, including <laughs> the um, okay. spider, the, the, the goalkeeping coach. So, and there are there are um, premium coaches. So. Um. One, I think they, 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 have the, they have the resources, so I suppose they're just using it. <laughs> Look but here. For me, it, 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 was a, it, it, it seemed a little bit too much. But we do, we, we, even though we need, um, when we're coaching, we need, I wouldn't say a panel, but you need a team. But this seems to be a team with four head coaches, and, and, and that, that, that's, that's a little bit too much for me. But the results are what matters, so. I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to see um, the end result. On that note, on that note, Mr. Vassar Reynolds, I'm not going to pull you tonight. But, you know, I've listened to a number. You know, me, hey, people, you don't know, say me a Vassar agent. Let out the pussy out of back. I've gotten calls from media houses want to speak to Vassar from September, you know, and the man had that all. <laughs> but guess what? I want to make sure that Vassal speak his mind or we get a little out of Vassal as it relates to his last job or the school that he last employed. But not, I won't call him out on this show, but for the next show, 
So prepare yourself. I want the Sadi Crest YouTube channel to be the first one what? to get such information out of Vassal Reynolds, the big coach, the coach of all coach. Because him live there as a one coach and now me here say five. <laughs> so um let me see how that works now. Right, Vassal? Well what yeah, what 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 I will say in tonight's show, um, Kevin, is that I would have said it to you and said it to many persons that I would have started that 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 three year program back in 2019 after the season finished in 2019 and was really want, and was really planning to take them to that level this year and when I left you know, Manchester High School for whatever reason um, I I told people that I would have left a semi final um, team there <laughs> and so far um, it, 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 in a sense. Well, coaches matters. Coach coaching matters. But in a sense, uh, you know, whether or not there were five coaches or two or ten coaches, I figured that they have they have a semi final team there and you know in, in, in school boy football I want to reach semi finals, anything is possible. And so so far, um, that fact that I would have stated or that info that I would have, have given out, um, it's proven to be to be to be to be to be you know, right and and, and and online so far because to have won your first game at the quarterfinal round is a big big thing that you know. You hear that I mean, Three more points tomorrow and they are they are automatically in the semifinals. But Maybe you, even a point I can help but them you hear that man. But but they are they are they are off to a good start and I expect them to uh it might be a close game with William Lee tomorrow, but I expect the Manchester team to prevail. Um, tomorrow because I think I think the match will be played on a more familiar ground to them than William Lee, but that will give them a time. Okay, before you go any further, before let's take a few um, predictions from Ray, Ronald White in name. My prediction for tomorrow's game, 2 1 or 1 1. Which of the game, Ray? That sounds like an Edwin game. The 2 1 sound better than the 1 1. That's where we want to go. Think the D Cup winner will come from the group, this group, which is our, of course. But let's say Edwin Allen, no? We want to see supporters from the school. If you notice, it is the same faces we keep seeing at the matches. All right, we talk about that. I'm sure Mr. Butty is going to work on that. You, you see what happened right back in the days when you have blue liner and then most of just run some trip and you understand what I mean? I say? Big Zande man there with the big Beckford chuck where carry people go have match. But we have to bring back the vibes. Eh? You know, we have to build it back. Yes, um, Ray. My big up Sasa. Sasa from Thompson Town. Sasa respond. CM1. What do you mean, Sasa? All up by your country, yes. Wow, no disrespect. But who would hire the Bradley Stewart into an institution? Just asking. You know what? that? The man they call Spy. Gregory Mesa. So I don't know who wants to answer that question, you know. If it is Vassal or, or Ray. Because those are the, 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 the coaches in and around. As a matter of fact, them two people are coaching at Manchester, so. They must know. Maybe Vassal make some recommendations Coach before me. Coach Green will answer that. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm not going to get into that. I don't want the show to get any in and mix up things. So leave that one for later. Vassal, you're trying to set me up. We're not setting up anybody, but... You know, regardless of what you're saying, you know, Bradley coach is a, Bradley is a good coach. I mean, he may do him days, but he was a good coach. He had just take him up, I believe. But that's how it go, man. You have to respect the hell there, you know. All right, yes, so... Um, <laughs> Mr. Dunkley, Sasa said, Mr. White, I only one Sasa from Edwin Allen. That is true. We don't have no more Sasa. No more can go to need that. But Sasa, you have to send probably one of your youth down there. One of them in Jamaica. Mark, I know time I run out of here, you probably align up yourself for the, for the, um, for the Sabbath over to you. But Mark, y y y y will you be going to any of the World Cup matches? I'll try my utmost best, bro. Yeah, I want to go. Are you not getting a next ticket yet? Next door. You buy a ticket yet? No, no. I listen. Ticket price is woo. Ticket price is very, very expensive. All right, people. Remember the promise that Mark made. You know, I ensure so we see Belgium playing a game before the World Cup, and you only will see this and. The Sad no, Press no. YouTube channel. I, I, I want to go to the game. I want to go to the game. It's All right. He'll be going and he will be 
posting that and I will carry that. This Sadi Crest YouTube channel will carry it. Remember people, for those of you who have not yet subscribed, please do so. Please do so tonight. We want to make 200 subscribers. We are going, we are growing. Because later, you know, I want to tell you that when you see Sadi Crest streaming, you know, nobody want to leave from in front of them TV. Good team we have working at, alright? So, buddy, let me just ask yes, you, though, buddy, um, we noticed, though, Edwin Allen start to, in my view, they are improving. Tell me something. I don't want you to give away anything technically. But how are you treating you with injuries and cards and so on? How, how have you been working it out? Because I know that a number of players were injured from first round. Tell me how you work out this thing. You have a doctor for the team or people chip in. How? Tell me. Let me know. Um, yes, Mr. Wittick. We have the same doctor that works with the track athletes, a past student. Okay. So that's and why we're then so fast time. and healthy. <laughs> so he comes in from time to time to check on the players. And we also have um, our master, Mr. Gale, who is also a track coach for the throwers. And of course, we have Prento, who is always there helping out. So. Big up Prento, big up Prento. Yeah, Prento is responsible for ice bath and to also help with your massage and transport to doctor and all of that. And the nurse as well, so she helps in every way possible. So Whether it is their fruits or medication or whatever. Right now we owe her some medication that she, we used that she got for the students. What if you were coach medication? <laughs> it, not the coach, the nurse. Oh yeah, so, yeah man, it's a printer. The doctor that works with the track team. Hold on, hold on the body. Hold on, hold on a bit the body. Piba, want to hear that? <laughs> <laughs> me nah make no talk about that, you know. But how comes the football team hold the, the nurse medication? One of the buried teeth it The school, okay, the school, the school owed them. Okay, okay. We wrote a requisition to get them back. No worries, sir. Because man. at the time, we couldn't get them from a pharmacy. So, yeah. Just use what was there. The good thing about it, they are students, too, you know. Yeah, man, they are students. Right. Alright, nice. <laughs> Continue, sir. <laughs> Yeah, man, so that's about it. Mr. Clark, a.k.a. Prento, Mr. Gale, Asian, um, Dr. Broomfield and his team. Yeah, they chip in and do their thing. Mr. Dyke as well. H.O.D. Dyke. Do. Yeah, H.O.D. Oh. Dyke. So. Yeah, man, those are the persons that basically look after the injuries and transportation to doctor and massage and ice bath, all of those. One question. And after you answer this question, I'm going to ask you to do your final comments. I'm going to give you two minutes to do your final comments. But the question is, in recent time, there is an assistant coach that is, I don't even know, it's, it is employed or a, comes in. I mean, how much of an assistant, how have the team been since you have gotten that assistant coach who wasn't there at the start of the season? Well, um, I think you're referring to Coach Akins. What, what, what? I really don't know much about Hold him. On. He's a pastor. Akins? That's uh, his which, name. Which are the assistants? Carlton Akins. I think that's the one you're referring to. Well, I don't. Uh, the name that I hear of is Acha and Paul. Oh, Paul, yeah, man. That's the same Same person. man. Okay, okay, okay. Good, good. Yes, so go uh, ahead. I, I think he volunteers. Okay. He's most of the matches, I think, because of where he resides. Okay. Um, I think he plays uh, <laughs> a kind of important role, yes. He knows football. I'm not really a football person like that. Uh, you so, know, yeah, work with the so there's an <laughs> impact. There's an, a positive impact. Yeah, man, that's has good. An impact on this. And that's what we want to know. That's very good. So... Big up yourself, yes, coach, coach, coach Akins, a.k.a. Acha. Yes, that's yes, the assistant Paul. coach. All right. So your final take, sir. What do you want to leave with us tonight? Uh, just look for great things from Edna Lynn. Yeah, going forward. Big up to all the persons who continue to support Edna Lynn. 
and we hope that the support will continue going forward. All right, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Sir Green. Your final uh, comments. Here. One minute. Uh, okay, um, I'm a I'm a Ulmer's old boy. So when I used to go to school, um, PE was PE. When you go to PE class, if it's a football season, we get football. If it's cricket, it's cricket. Nowadays, it seems as if the PE teacher actually teaches a different. Uh, 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 um, another subject so sometimes they just throw out a ball and you kick around and that's it I think we need to go back to the days when we have when it's PE it's PE so if it's football you're going to learn football we, we can go back to um, class football house football and all of that so once the, the kids start playing football from an early stage then um, we'll have um, <laughs> where we can get with kids where we, where we play as from because they'll be playing football we need to go back to that um, the other thing though, the, the, the Eden Allen game tomorrow, I've not seen the Eden Allen team, but what I've seen from the Clarendon team, I don't think you should press this team. I think you lie, you, 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 you lie in a confrontation to start at the half line and you play on the counter. One point is good enough to get you through. Because if you take one point from Clarendon, you should be good. A word. A word to the wise is sufficient. Thank you very much, Mr. Green. But you know, right, right. man, so like he's a part of that panel, man. Hey, hey, man. Listen, listen me, man. Listen me, man. Listen. Listen. <laughs> this is why we have him here, you know. Love the Adrenalin <laughs> team. We don't just carry people in our show. People have to be respectful and so on. We have a lot of people who think logically and fairly, not just biased because he's a full Marian or a Manchester, as he stated. So thank you very much, Mr. Green. Yeah, you're welcome. QAT, the United and Unbi Unbiased Show host. Give me your final comment, sir. Um, you say the good thing is that, right? I'm here talking to persons actually who have access to on info and what's happening. And it's always nice to know what's happening with the schoolboy football back home. Because as a former player and an uh, Eden Allen fan, 100%. Behind Edunalin. But as I said, I, I, I'm happy to know what's popping there. And Mr. Yeah, Wittig, the Sarah Crenshaw. Sure. So sure. sometimes I'm just here. 11 o'clock at night, 1 o'clock in the morning, I watch Edunalin play different teams. And I appreciate that. So I appreciate the broadcast. I appreciate the fact that you kind of bring this, send this to my curator. So I can't go and watch it. <laughs> and thank you, man. On. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to appreciate that. All right. Congratulations to Mr. Green and the Amber vibes. I like the vibes. I, I 100% big, um, because earlier my command going here, Mr. Reynolds. I mean, all right, and, sir. Uh, sir, may I have to let you go you know, because I have one minute left yeah, and that one minute there for Sir Vasily. You know. Sir Vasily, your closing comment. Um, the ever exciting schoolboy season. Um, it's it's up and go and, and going. Um, and, and I hope it continues in good vein. I uh, I for one feel that the quality has fallen a little bit. Um, you know, so 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 we wishing we wishing well personally. I'm 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 wishing um, you know, everybody all the well. It's a strange old season this year. It's just it's just it's just it's just unfortunate that we're really relying on schoolboy football for for the development of, of Jamaica's football. You know, um, but um, so it is, and and the one has to support um to a level that we can support and hope for the best. Thank you very much, and thank you very much, my panelists. Hope we'll see you soon. This is the Sadi Chris Show. And you're always invited. Okay, tune in as you go. We are still online, so you could tune in to the YouTube channel. Thank you very, very much. Well, that was our panel discussion. Very long, but very fruitful. These are the discussions that we are hoping to have going forward as we take another step into this year's schoolboy competition. So let us go. Um, let us look at the big group. The group that we believe big things will happen. Big things, people. Big, big things. So, Group B results and where do we go? So, if you look at on your screen, Group B, Clarendon College leading, Edwin Allen, Central, and Dingtil. You notice what happened up there, sir? Everybody in a green. Except 
Edwin Allen in a blue. We are the different team. You see? So, people, what I really want to say to you, we're going up against Clarence. It's a top of the table clash. And as much as how all of us want Edwin Allen to win, and let me say all of us, not everybody on the platform, because we know we have different people from different places. Them just afraid for talking, you know, afraid for something at the chat. We're not killing no man. So this is a free place, you know, free. So the Crest Channel open up to everything. Yes, so Edwin Allen versus Manchester. Not Manchester, well, Manchester Parish and Clarendon Parish because, trust me, you know, I am a bit concerned as it relates to spectators. That's my view still. But I am so happy that these boys, no fear, no. But a game tomorrow, Clarendon College versus Edwin Allen at Brooks Park. I don't think they have any grounds in Clarendon they could have played this game, you know, to hold that support. Especially what took place in the first round. And worst case scenario, what happened last Saturday and yesterday. Not yesterday, but Wednesday. In my commentary prior to that, I have stated that Edwin Allen is a giant killer. Yes. And we don't see what we are talking about. We lick Glenn Muir for six. Yeah. And we turn over another favorite, Big Till. People actually don't know. I was like chanting before the game Wednesday against Ding Tilly. Because every look me look, you know. At one stage, you know, me have to say to the coach, you know, remember say you play for Edwin Allen already, you know, so you can't run me out of your technical area, you know. I do not even think we are saying you know. <laughs> you say your next word to me for your side here. Till I... <laughs> but big up yourself, Cole O'Neill Thomas. Yeah man, I want to big up Coach Thomas because Coach Thomas has played for Edwin Allen. You know, I want to big up Errol again because Errol let that let me know that, you know. My Errol play back in the days. I wonder if Errol does listen to Mr. Ricketts, man. Errol, how much love you used to get, man? You know, I had a conversation, gentle people, everything in one. And a past student, I think it's Ray, no? <laughs> Rana, a past student say when they used to go match, you know, in the 80s, and say, 80s, early 80s, not just 80s, early 80s. When them shout at the match, you know, they shout for a save from the goalkeeper. Because Edwin Allen is normally a squared of goal. <laughs> Can you imagine what is happening now? I am so proud of the boys. I am proud of the coaching staff. Headed by coach staff. I am proud of the principal. Proud of the HOD. There are a lot of things need to improve at Edwin Allen. You know, as it relates to football. A whole lot. But guess what? It takes time. It takes time. And I will work with it. Because Piba. Is doing a wonderful job. So as Mr. Green Cat said earlier, say a point is good for us. It may be good, maybe, but with the confidence that we have, we'll take the point if that's what it is. But we're going for the point. We're going for three points. If we can't get three, we settle for one. Because we must, Edwin Allen must get something out of that game. That's how we see it. Must. I mean, nothing think Clarendon College I go let up. But one thing me know, you know, me know business how people want to see. You know, as bad as this Clarendon team be, I am sure as night follow day that they not take this adrenaline team like I bet you don't, don't play that type of football where they play right through. It's going to change. I mean, I say not go attractive, you know. But it's going to change. Because Lenny had a good coach, you know. And Lenny no fool. In the interview, you know, maybe I should play back that interview there, you know. I go and look for that interview there, and I go and play it. For those of you who never see it or if you never watch it. What Lenny Hyde said after the game at Edwin Allen. The man respect so much the Edwin Allen coaches and the team and that day because he was saying that they came to play a particular football. And Edwin Allen changed up their own tactics and matched them. So they couldn't do whatever they wanted to do. So I'm sure that Clarendon College I think twice of how to approach the Edwin team. Yes? So, once we avoid defeat 
tomorrow we will have one foot in a semi final because <laughs> you know say sometimes I wonder if we talk certain things you know but you know what happened central would be our last game people last game and that will be played at good hunting ground for Edinale. Good hunting ground on a Foga Road. It's more like in a central backyard, but we don't care. We go everywhere, we go do what we have to do. Hmm? And if we facing central with four points, there's no way, barring unforeseen conditions, our bad luck. We know we got a semi final. That's the only way. Uncle bad luck or unforeseen condition. We stop with. Once we're facing central with four points, with at least four points. My prediction for tomorrow's game. Mr. Chairman, some of me no predict. But guess what? I had predicted before, and this time we still have all my prediction. Edinalin one, Clarendon College nil. So, Edwin Allen will inflict the first defeat of the season to Clarendon College. Let me see. Only one man missed the text in the group about their, their um, thing. Tomorrow, honestly, the prediction that I have, I had Dingtil beat in Central 3-1. That's the prediction I had from the last show. But what happened to Dingtil on Wednesday? It's going to take them another week to rebound. Me can't tell you that. People, ding till in shambles. Edwin Allen lick the stick out of them. And so it create another. We're not going to say much more. But don't be surprised if Central beat ding till tomorrow. But you know what? My prediction now, the fact that how I see ding till, I mean, it take a while for them to come back. I tell you no. I see this game end up 1-1 one, one game tomorrow. And that would be a very good, very good result for Edwin Allen. Yes, very good result. A 1-1 one, one score line. So, Gregory Messam, where is a brilliant topic that you mis mentioned, Mr. Green. That's true. Gregory again. So, where is the commercial break? Who will pay the bills? <laughs> Piba. I don't tell a lie. Me Sam, a Piba going pay the bills. Piba is the main sponsor for this show and for this Hardy Press streaming. Yes? But you know what? Um, I want you to get on board in you know, a Because I know you have the strength. Yes? So, you ask the, you ask the question, me answer your brother. So if Mr. Chairman or Skip or whoever want to come out, come address that. Yeah, we hear it now. So Piba going pay the bills. Craig, greetings to everyone on this platform. Uh, yes, me late checking in. Sir Sadi, I'm listening first because joining. All right, big up yourself, man. Welcome, welcome. Of course. SMS, I'm Edwin Few, CC Zip. <laughs> That's how you're the easy, you know what? Edwin Few, CC Zip. We take that. Nothing wrong. Glenroy, what is Glenroy Buckley? Ah oh boy, what is that? Is gold different? Hey, listen. If I say if I go a different time, I don't think there will be any gold. Well, no, sir. There will be gold difference if teams tied up, yes. But, so guess what? Before we even talk about gold difference, let's talk about points. That is where my headspace is. So, Craig Young, why you come in and I predict fast, man? I predicted a 2 1 win for Edwin Allen. Good result, good result. Good prediction too. Yes, good prediction. So, after tomorrow's game, I expected Edwin to be on top of the group. And a win for Edwin Allen. No matter of fact, a win for either team. Because we have to be fair. A win for either Clarendon College or Edwin Allen. Anybody win tomorrow, them sure going through to the semifinals. Sure going through to the semifinals. So, as predicted from most everybody, Edwin and Clarence and Carly go through. But I'm going to see Edwin Allen going on six points tomorrow. You know what would be terrible? What would be a final match? If when Edwin beat Clarence and College tomorrow, 
and Ding Till Beat Central. If Ding Till Beat Central people and Clarin, so if tomorrow game we're Central, we're Ding Till and Edunalin win. The final game, you know, between Clarendon College and Dingtill, you know, which will be Tuesday. And that game will be played at State. It's a live TV game by Sportsmax. That would be a game. Because each team now have to go win. Yes. And if my prediction were seat where Dingtill win 3 1, if that stands or if it goes like that. And Dingtill draw. <laughs> with CC, you know, say CC Japo. I wonder if you know, see the mathematical chances, the mathematical issues. Yes? And so, this year's competition, as we say, it's very, very important. People, you know, we're going two hours. I wonder how my subscription are going. That may wait for you know. <laughs> we are going good, man. All right. Um, Mr. P.R.O. come in. Jason Barnes, big up yourself, man. Jason Barnes, whatever happens in our, in our, we would like to draw between Dingtill and Central. Yes, yes. But we don't have no control over that, my boss. So we can always predict our life. That's nice. Yeah, that's what, that would be very good for Edinale. A draw from them two teams. Eh? Right? So, people, continue. We, we need um, Craig Young. Remember, the first game on October 1st ended 2-1 in favor of CC with Edwin scoring first. I saw you going to yes. Don't have Foga Road. <laughs> All right. But you know what, people? Whatever we gone for October gone, you know, is a different kekla fish this, you know. And when we say that, it is different in all sense of the world because they do not play like how they play the first round. I tell you the truth, they step up a gear. You know, I look out for one of my bridges in a this, on this platform tonight. Me, Sam, you hear from Blacks, man. I think Blacks would have Blacks give me a thumbs up saying so I'll come on the show tonight. You know? wow. Where Blacks? The Blacks there? Blacks, if you're, if you're there on the show, man, send a message, man. We acknowledge you, man. How you say, man? Blacks are the big journalists in the Biba group, you know. It was in recent time, you kind of cut off a little like football, and you know, certain little. Things go down where keeping on the low side. But big up yourself, blacks, man. Oh, yeah, man. Football analyst for life in a PBA. Yes. All right. So, again, I want to big up PBA, the Pasadena Allen Ballers Association. You know, some people say me big up PBA a lot, but I can't stop. They are the main sponsors. As when Miss Sam say, who pay the bills? PBA will be paying the bills for the commercial breaks. You know, I take them in, but never mind. You know, you hear much time PBA here that run. And, of course, for the associate sponsors, toad and nose heating and cooling system coming out of New York. People, if you are get too cold and you want some heat, call toad and nose. Them have a remedy for you. All right. Deja vu, Retro Party. Hey, look out, you know, people. Big party in a summer field very soon. The man called Bobby run that business. Dallas Fine Cut Barbering coming out of California. And let me say this again. Dallas, the man they call Ninja, Piba Chairman. For life, yes. I mean, I mean, you want to stay a PBA chairman for life, you know. I just say for life. Yeah, yeah, you understand? But a real big you. Taste of the Island restaurant. That coming out of St. Petersburg. Somewhere in Florida. I don't know for it, but I'll take that. So the people them there in St. Petersburg or who they in, you know, or land or them places so you want to call drive down maybe about two, three hours. You will get everything from that restaurant there. Yeah? And they have good Jamaican thing. Also, Solid Rock Black Factory, coming out of Mapen. The man they call was him Thomas, a.k.a. Bro Bro. Yeah, man, he manager thing. So all your building supplies, especially building black, call was him. Listen, don't have to call him. Call me. I'll get it for you. Just an alika thing, yeah. I'm an agent now, you know. Not just an alika commentator like one of me. I try. I'm an agent. Real agent. type. agent for business. Agent for coach. Agent. So call me for anything you want. You see them thing I'm telling about? Good. I want to take a special opportunity of bigging up our most recent sponsor. Local sponsor. Satisfaction Entertainment and Electronics. And this is owned and managed by no other than Jerome Stewart. The son of Errol Stewart, a PIBA member. Errol, 
Uh, which school Jerome, um, Jerome go? Let me know. Because we probably have to give him a transfer, you know. Yeah. He can go first to, 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 to 13th grade. But here when he can go. He can come a PBA class. So we give him a transfer. I make him know, say, I don't know if I have a PM fee, but if he's cheap. If he, if he come a PBA class, is very cheap. We need him in a PBA. Good youth. Good youth. Jerome, big up yourself anyway there from out of center. That is... You know, the satisfaction, entertainment, and electronics. He provided a tent for us on Wednesday. Also, a Wi-Fi expander. Good. I want to also big up the man called Joel Alwood, CJ, the technical support staff behind the Sari Crest Live YouTube channel. And also Kevin Clark, the man called Bobo. Hey, you see them two youth as me say them have a band named the Unplug Revolution. Them have a band. A musician them. They play any instruments, them bad, trust me. So you see, when we get them to come a match, we take them off for some little rules, you know? I saw them thing. They play at church, they play up everywhere. The youth named Bobo can sing. He's a saxophonist as well. Play the drum. But you see, once we say match, them there. So we have to really give a thanks to them there. You understand? So as we go along. So people... There's this thing I want to bring across to you and all of you. We have cheer for foot, we are cheer for um what you call it now, for Edwin Allen and for P and everything. But let me ask you one question. And this is what I want. This I want to have a giveaway, have an Edwin Allen jersey to give away. And person I want to name the players and this particular picture. Alright, so Piba, Edwin Allen fans, all are in our chat. I want to name soon come up. That's a picture of the Edwin Allen team. I want to name them from left to right in the front row and left to right at the rear row. <laughs> <laughs> when I did have some discussion with all the people, I have to be careful in my chat. Alright? So, um, yes, what they are saying now, let's go back to some of them. Um, Jason Barnes. What Jason Barnes are saying now? Um, the Edwin Allen team like to rise to the occasion, so I'm expecting a good game for us. You know, but our game want to know is just a win, we expect still. But that's nice. Nice, Leo. That is true. Good observation. Alright, so Craig. Mr. Young, if Edwin score again first, a problem for CC. Anyway, you take your problem for CC tomorrow because we are going to win. Um, them looking better now, improving as they, as they progress. Yes, that's true. Mr. Sam, where is it? Father on his way to Qatar <laughs> with the big defender, Harry. Who? Mr. Sam, I don't have permission to discuss Premier League yet. Well, I we can't discuss, you know. But, we kind of are a, a cool dog. So, you say, Father Black's gone with, with Harry Maguire? Backside. They know he's gone and the Queen dead. Listen, alright. I'm going to take your word. Just imagine a ding till and a adrenaline going through from Group B to the semi finals. <laughs> hey, Bridget, you see that reasoning that we put on? As you come up with it, I tell you, football is a funny old game. And just like what you said, it, no one outside of the Edwin Allen faithful was looking for Edwin Allen to go through this road. Because especially when they have a Glenmuir who has four points when they have one at Maypen. So it's a similar scenario, Miss Sam. Really a similar, similar scenario. But yeah, man, it can't happen, you know. It can't happen, man. Trust me. It can't happen. So young, Leo can all right, Leo can say that. Alright. Um Miss Sam. Nose nostril. Need more heating than cooling. Hello. <laughs> Judge a mighty fool. Piba is the what is that man? Best test? Alright, sir. Half price on the blocks. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> then the charm can put up. <laughs> Where's Miss Sam? Half price funny. <laughs> Was him? May I call you out, you know, where you 
Or say something was it. Me say half price for the black them. So we can put up it down. People, we have five minutes left in the show. Yeah. Five minutes. If you want, we go all night. We can go all night. But guess what? We don't want to keep it too long. I hope I'm not bored, people. I hope I'm not bored. No, because, boy, I kind of love chat still. But, Piba, you know, I want to put me in that position. Yeah. Right here and then. Piba put me in this position. So I'm happy that you are enjoying the sports and the entertainment that I'm putting out there. And that makes me feel very good. People, I understand how you feel, especially those who are abroad. You weren't seeing anything much. But since Saudi Crest started, you are bubbling. You got the games, the games that you are interested in. And that's what I brought to you. You know? And so... The Saudi Crest YouTube channel will continue to bring you the adrenaline games and so other games as you see fit. If it wasn't for time constraint, you would have seen other games. You know, I think when I when, 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 uh, today um made Francis start. It, it was it today. Anybody can make me know in the chat? Alright, I soon check it out still. But I wanted to cover some of the Ben Francis games. But for now, people, only Edwin Allen games I can manage to travel to during the week. Only Edwin Allen games. I don't have the time to go feature anything. Alright, so remember on screen, people, before we go, who can name the players on screen? Who can name the player? Even if you don't know the right name, give it an alias. We accept that. Remember, we have an Edwin Allen jersey. Custom made Edwin Allen jersey. So you can't get it tomorrow because you're going to probably want something in night and we have to get it done. So, check it out. Leo Face, are you responsible for that jersey, the Leo Face? The PRO. Yes? So, Craig, Leo, Mesam, Trevor, all I'm going to watch match them every day, brother. Make me know who them play them. Me know their name. Even alias if you can. Even alias. I want to take the time out to big up all the females who came online as well. Yes. Big up on yourself. Yes, TSA. And of course, Diane. What if I get it right? Is it Diane or Diane? <laughs> but anyway, I'm happy that you joined us. I'm happy that you were with us. If you are still here, again, big up on yourself. You always follow Piba, whatever. Hey, you know what happened? Piba is such a wonderful group. And so that is the reason why. That is the reason why we have so much wonderful people on this platform. Again, people, I need the subscription. I really, really need the subscription. So for those of you who don't subscribe yet, please. Right now I am at what? Um, let me refresh this page because what I am seeing here. Maybe true, maybe so. I am 193 subscribers, people. Can I get seven more subscribers before the show end? We have what? Two minutes left, people. Two minutes. So if you're in the show and you're not subscribed, please do so right now. We want to reach. I really wanted 200 subscribers by the end of the show. So we are seven short. So can we take the two minutes? Name your team. Subscribe if you have not. Or share and like the video. So hopefully tomorrow morning I wake up. You see, we there at 250. Alright, we know a lot of people don't watch, but so far, so good. So, finally, my final comment that I will leave you with. Piba is always recruiting. Edwin Allen needs the support. And so, let us do what we have to do. We have won quite a number of other school faithfuls to come along on the Piba. I want to go. And without that, hey, I want to take the time out, you know, as I talk about after school, you know, I want to big up Lee, you know. Lee, you're the show? Yeah, man, one of the Cuban, a Trevor Bridging. Yeah, I know for Piba Bridging them too. Lee is the man who run the bingo. He run bingo for Edwin Allen and he run it for a couple of schools. So, he's a youth who love Edwin Allen. Edwin Allen is second school. Based on conversation, I want me understand. Lee's from Frankfield, right? All right. So, Lee, big up yourself, you know. I don't see you say no comment. I don't know if you're in the show. But 
Respect, man. Man has a respect to you, uh, Cuban. Yes? All right. So, that way I say. And all the first-time viewers, thank you very much for tuning in. Thank you, the faithful, for tuning in. And so, tomorrow will be the day that will qualify us to the semi-final. I want to leave this with you. If you are on the Jamaican soil people, if it is possible, make your way to Brooks Park in Mandeville tomorrow. Yes? If you are unable to come, tune in to the Saudi Crest YouTube channel. That's the only place you will see that game live. Again, if you are overseas, <laughs> what more can I say? This channel seems like it is for you. So tune in. If you have not bought a ticket yet, if you don't book your flight for the finals, start looking at ticket. The final of the Dakasta Cup will be on December 9. Sorry if you jump the gun, people. But we just help the people if you book them ticket to a channel. Alright? So, this is where we leave you. This is where we call it quit for tonight. Again, before you click, the end stream just subscribe like and share ladies and gentlemen piba all football fans local and abroad have yourself a good night and thank you